very little chance of any bilateral talk between India and Pakistan. He's coming for a Shanghai conference, although Pakistan has invited Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, but some of the other, as we were all expecting that he will, he most probably will not come. We were not even expecting uh, any Indian representation. This uh, one incident of uh, in which two Chinese were killed, an international culture, uh, literature and cultural festival going on in which 40 countries are participating which is which in itself is a record among the five most uh, dangerous countries for reporting and all the indicators are that uh, it's not very easy in pakistan to use a uh, digital platform or to use digital media and uh, you know control uh, media control directly or indirectly um, it's very it's very disturbing I mean, if you, uh, you know, if I can answer you in uh, one liner, there is always uh, uncertainty in Pakistan, fortunately or unfortunately, or uh, for journalists, you know, there is never a dull moment in Pakistan. But uh, from the uh, political perspective, uh, yes, there have been a lot of happenings in the last, uh, say, last few weeks related to terrorism, as we recently witnessed what happened uh, near the Karachi airport and combined with ban on Pashtun Tahfuz movement. Then, uh, of course, uh, ongoing political tussle between uh, uh, PTI, the uh, leading opposition party, Pakistan Tariq and Saab, led by former Prime Minister Imran Khan, and the government uh, coalition of two mainstream political parties, Pakistan People's Party and Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. And then, of course, uh, the international happenings going on in Gaza and it's uh, an, a tussle and or tension between Israel and Iran, Shanghai conference in Pakistan and Islamabad. To wrap up, uh, uncertainty is the only certainty in Pakistan at the moment. Uh, how government is uh, handling it, how opposition is behaving, and uh, of course, uh, as far as the terrorism is concerned, there are different uh, aspects. I mean, what's going on in uh, Balochistan and related terrorism related to the development in Balochistan and uh, in uh, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa or uh, ex Sparta after the ban on PTM, whether it's uh, justified, whether the government has any justification for the ban. So uh, all over, uh, it's not a very uh, pleasant side as far as the economic conditions is concerned. Yes, there there are and there were few. Uh, positive economic indicators but are these indicators sustainable as Pakistan's economic conditions you know can sustain in an environment where two major you know major political party opposition uh, facing a tough challenge uh, from the government and above all the ongoing uh, problems uh, in judiciary and with judiciary and the constitutional amendment with the government, uh, you know, trying its best to uh, bring an amendment in the constitution in order to constitute or to uh, get an approval or get an amendment to, uh, you know, to formulate a constitutional court amid a strong uh, protest from the from the opposition as well as from the lawyers community. So what will happen? Uh, one has to wait and see. The most important event, uh, Shanghai Conference, the and above all, in the sideline of the Shanghai Conference, uh, the visit of Indian Foreign Minister, uh, Jay Shankar, which is uh, very important from both countries' point of view. But apparently, uh, it seemed as uh, the, there's very little chance of any bilateral talk between India and Pakistan. He's coming for a Shanghai conference, although Pakistan has invited Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, but some of the other, as we were all expecting that he will, he most probably will not come. We were not even expecting uh, any Indian representation, but it's a positive sign that the uh, Indian uh, leader is coming to Pakistan. It, it will definitely, uh, you know, for instance, uh, 
if they ban the internet service during the uh, during the conference during the summit it will certainly not pass on a very positive message and uh, another on the sideline of the uh, i gotten to mention the uh, international cultural festival in karachi at the arts council despite this uh, one incident of uh, in which two chinese were killed an international culture uh, literature and cultural festival going on in which 40 countries are participating which is which in itself is a record in a city which uh, known mostly for the bad news but uh, it's a very positive news that uh, you know uh, all the shows and all the program uh, we are uh, you know at the arts council karachi and um, all the shows are almost uh, jam packed dramas are of high quality music of high quality and um, the overall activity cultural activity something which is really amazing and uh, one must praise and one must you know congratulate the arts council uh, karachi for this uh, extraordinary event as far as the shanghai conference the outcome of the shanghai conference uh, one is expecting that at least four to five head of the state or the head of the government will participate which uh, which is a very positive sign for for pakistan and hopefully the uh, chinese prime minister and the russian top level delegation uh, will participate in this conference so one in, uh, can only hope uh, that all uh, something positive will come out from this conference but uh, in during the conference before and after the conference this issue of digital uh, use of digital media or ban on internet or uh, disruption in internet service will will definitely harm the the image of pakistan and uh, because after all pakistan is still among the five most uh, dangerous countries for reporting and all the indicators are that uh, it's not very easy in pakistan to use a digital platform or to use digital media and uh, you know control uh, media control directly or indirectly um, it's very is very disturbing but at the same time uh, one can also expect from the journalist community also those who are using uh, digital digital media and using other media platform to be more responsible also at times we are not, we are not very responsible also at times we we often be carried away by disinformation or by misinformation so i think it's very important for journalists to concentrate uh, on factual stories and on, on uh, stories based on facts instead of uh, getting uh, or being carried away by the disinformation some kind of a disinformation also